money can't buy you happiness, but money is the key to make happiness attainable. According to Newsbrite, 76% of people who find jobs makes the salary factor as the top priority. So, I will deliver this definition by asking the questions, what is the spirit of the motion? The person doing high paid job is the one that earns a great deal of money and that helps you cover basic needs and other hobby and you are able to afford luxurious things. Meanwhile, they hate everything that the job contains from environment natural to the colleague that they work with. Meanwhile, the person doing low paid job is the one that earns a low amount of money and they're struggling every day to cover their basic need but they have high interest in everything that the job contains. Now, as a first speaker, I prove to you that in your world, people will have no motivation to pursue their dreams and if they have, it will render no success. Everybody is competing heatedly for the job in market. The concern for money is increasing dramatically and it leads to that the number of people under the financial pre pressure is accelerating substantially. So let's imagine the world that you always have to think about money and it is your world when people are paid low but they have high interest. When you wake up every morning, the first thing you bear in mind, it's not how you can follow your passion. It's not how you can be more creative every day, but it is about how you can pay your electric, how you can pay your water bills, how you can eat today to minimize the money that you spend. So uh, there is no place for you to thinking about passion anymore. And you will have no motivation to pursue that dreams that you have planned anymore. So. Uh, what are we trying to say is that the basic need is the real is the one that is really urgent and serious. When you stop paying the rent, you may get kicked out of the house. But meanwhile, your passion it doesn't have deadline. If you stop following it now, you can following it in the future because it is still there. So the problem is you have to fix what is uh, right in front the problem what is right in front of you right now. So. Um, our goal is to strategically pursue our dreams to render the highest rate of success and which team can guarantee the motivation and a sustainable life for individuals that team will win so proud to propose most people die at age 24 they get buried at age 70 they spend their entire life chasing after money, a pile of papers that they cannot take to their grave. Now you see, I see that in this debate, we're both trying to pursue happiness. We're trying to pursue a more meaningful life. But what is a meaningful life even mean? On our side of opposition, we believe a meaningful life is a life of happiness, independence and fulfillment. Now, what role does your job play in creating this meaning? I believe that when you work from 9 to 5 every day on a job and you have dedicated so much of your time that it, to it that it actually becomes a part of your identity. It determines what kind of life you will lead. In view of such importance, we believe that you should pursue a job that makes you happy every day, not miserable every day like proposition is existing, and even if it does not really pay so well. Now I will come to my rebuttals. They say that we need money in order to pay off our emergent costs. Now I say that low paying jobs does not equal poverty. Just because you work in a low pay paying job, it does not mean you cannot afford your necessities. But even if you cannot afford your necessities, we believe it is still better for the society for, and for individuals in order to uh, that they base their happiness on the worth of their work and uh, they don't pursue ma merely materialistic gains because you cannot expect yourself to be happy with a February or a cup of brandy if you always, always feel miserable whenever you wake up and go to work. Now, with that in mind, my first argument is going to be why chasing your passion makes a human life a meaningful life. First, you are happy. We say that happiness is very important in our life. When you do a job that you actually like, you wake up feeling inspired and energized. You want to see what you can achieve in a day. And 
because you feel like you're changing the world and even if you don't end up changing the world even if you don't end up the next Bill Gates or the next Mark Zuckerberg we think you're still changing one world your world and now but more importantly you are the agent of your life when you pursue your passion what does this mean well if you pursue money you are basing it as a motivation you are prioritizing it over ambitions what you want to do you are letting a piece of paper tell you what to do when to do and how to do it and you're no longer in control of your life and so to conclude by breaking by pursuing your dreams by breaking the chain humans see to be slaves of money but instead we're individuals full of joy and agency. Thank you very much.